in this class uh, we are going to discuss about a c program to insert an element into the array at begin position c program to insert an element into the array yet begin position so we have to insert an element into the array at begin position uh, so now let's see how we can solve this problem uh, let uh, in this program uh, the input variables are size of the array n array elements and uh, the element which we are inserting so the first one is size of the array so let n is equal to 5 so that means totally we can store 5 elements in the array so we know that the index of an array starts from 0 and continues up to size minus 1 so and continues up to n minus 1 that is nothing but 4 so the elements of the array are a of 0 a of 1 a of 2, a of 3 and a of 4. So let elements of the array are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So this is nothing but size of the array. These are nothing but uh, elements of the array. So in this problem our aim is we have to insert an element into the array at beginning position. So we require uh, another input variable. That input variable is element. So, which element we are inserting? So, we require one more input variable that is element. So, let the element here is 100. So, we have to insert 100 at beginning position. So, initially the size of the array is 5. But after inserting this element into the array at beginning position, totally array contains 5 plus 1, 6 elements. So, we have to increment the size of the array so that is nothing but our first step n plus plus n plus plus initially the size of the array is 5 so after incrementation n becomes 6 so now we can have 6 elements from a of 0 to a of 5 a of 0 to a of 5 a of 5 so initially the size of the array is 5 but after incrementation, the size becomes 6. So, index starts from 0 and continues up to 5. Uh, here, the logic is very simple. We have to move all the elements of the array one position to its right. So, A of 4 will be moved one position to its right. So, A of 4 element will be stored in A of 5. 50. Next, A of 3 element will be moved one position to its right. So, A of 3 element will be stored in A of 4. Next, A of 2 element will be moved one position to its right. So, A of 2 element will be stored here. Next, A of 1 element will be moved one position to its right. So, A of 1 will be stored in A of 2. Next, A of 0 element will be stored in A of 1. So, in this example, what is our target? We have to insert the element at beginning position. So, at the begin position, we have to insert 100. So, after inserting the element into the array, the output is this one. So, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now, let's write the program. So, here the first statement is hash include stdio.h. Why? Because we are using printf and scanner functions. Those two functions are available in stdio.h. Execution of a program starts from main function. And what are the input variables here? N, ELE and some array. And uh, we require a for loop. So for repetition, let us declare a variable called I. So let us declare the variables. Int N comma. Let the size of the, let the total number of elements of the array are A of 10 comma. E -E, comma, to perform operations on the for loop let us declare a variable called i 
So first, what is the input variable? Size of the array. So printf enter size of the array. Printf enter size of the array. Next statement, scan of percentage d comma m percent n. So size of the array is read Let n value is 5. Next, we have to read the array elements. So, printf enter array elements. Array elements. Here, the index of the array starts from 0 and continues up to n minus 1. So, i less than or equal to n minus 1 or we can write as i less than n. So, here the for loop is index starts from 0 and continues up to n minus 1 or we can write as i less than n next i plus plus here we are reading the elements we are reading integer elements so scan of percentage d comma y of percent a of 5 so let n value is 5 then totally we have 5 elements and what are its values 10 20 30 40 and 50 next we have to read element so printf enter element to be inserted enter element to be inserted so here what is the element we are inserting ele so scan of percentage d comma m percent ele so in this example what is ele value 100 uh, in this program we are inserting an element into the array at begin position so initially the size of the array is 5 but after inserting the size becomes 6. So here the first statement here is n plus plus. So initially what is n value? 5. So now n becomes 6. So what is n value now? n is equal to 6. Next uh, in this program so how many movements are needed here? So this is the first assignment, second assignment, third assignment, fourth assignment and fifth assignment. So totally five assignments are needed here. So what is the first assignment we have to perform? We have to store a of 4 value in a of 5. So that is the use of is equal to. What is the use of is equal to? It assigns a right hand side value to left hand side variable. Here, what is the left hand side one? a of 5 is equal to a of 4. So, this is the first statement. So, what is a of 4 value? 50. So, this 50 will be stored in a of 5. Next, what is the next assignment? a of 4 is equal to a of 3. Next one, a of 3 is equal to, so we have to store a of 2 value in a of 3. So, a of 3 is equal to a of 2. Next, we have to store uh, what is the next assignment? A of 2 value is stored in A of 3. So the next assignment is A of 2 is equal to A of 1. So store A of 1 value in A of 2. Next assignment, A of 1 is equal to A of 0. So totally we have to perform 3 assignments. So for this we have to write the logic. Uh, let uh, the initial value of the i is n here. So after incrementation what is n value? 6. So what is i value now? For i is equal to 6. So then uh, what is the body of the loop here? We here uh, the left hand side one is 5. Whereas the right hand side, uh, whereas here the right hand side one is 4. So how to get 5 from 6? Then how to get 4 from 6? So how to get 5 from 6? Simply by subtracting from 1. So here the body is very simple. A of i minus 1 is equal to a of i minus 2. So what is i minus 1 here? i means 6. So 6 minus 1 means 5. So a of 5 is equal to a of 6 minus 2 means 4. So that is nothing but the first statement. Then how many assignments are needed here? First, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. So totally 5 assignments are needed. So what is the condition we have to write here? Here i value is 6. 
let us take the condition as i greater than 1 so 6 greater than 1 first assignment 5 greater than 1 4 greater than 1 3 greater than 1 2 greater than 1 so totally 5 assignments next 1 greater than 1 condition is false so here the condition is i is greater than 1 next first we have to store 4 in 5 next 3 in 4 next to 2 in 3 so what we have to do every time we have to perform decrementation so i minus minus so this is our logic here let's check whether our logic is correct or not so we know that uh, what is n value now n value is 6 because after incrementation it has to store how many elements initially array contains only 5 elements now array contains 6 elements so now n is equal to 6 so for i is equal to 6 so i value is 6 next 6 is greater than 1 so 6 is greater than 1 condition is true so body will be executed a of 5 is equal to a of 4 so this a of 4 value will be stored in a of 5 so first assignment is done next i minus minus now i becomes 5 so 5 is greater than 1 condition is true so a of 5 minus 1 so a of 4 is equal to a of 3 so a of 3 value will be stored in a of 4 so second assignment is also over next i minus minus i becomes 4 4 is greater than 1 condition is true so body will be executed so a of 4 minus 1 is equal to a of 4 minus 2 so what is 4 minus 1 3 so a of 3 is equal to a of 4 minus 2 so what is 4 minus 2 2 so a of 3 is equal to a of 2 so a of 2 value will be stored in a of 3 next i minus minus now y becomes 3 3 is greater than 1 condition is true so body will be executed so what is i value now 3 so a of 3 minus 1 is equal to a of 3 minus 2 so what is 3 minus 1 2 so a of 2 is equal to a of 1 so what is a of 1 value here 20 so 20 will be stored in a of 2 so this is also executed next i minus minus i becomes 2 so 2 is greater than 1 condition is true so body will be executed so a of 2 minus 1 a of 1 is equal to a of 0 so a of 0 value will be stored in a of 1 next i minus minus now i becomes 1 so 1 is greater than 1 condition is false so control comes out from the for loop so in 0 position we have to store the corresponding element so here the here the next statement is a of 0 is equal to e n so what is e n e value 100 so 100 is stored in this a of 0 so now our output contains the proper statements so initially these are the values and after insertion 100 10 20 30 40 and 50 is the output now we have to display the output so printf after insertion after insertion array elements are array elements are just use the for loop for printing the data so for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so printf after percentage d use some slash d so 3 or 4 spaces will be printed display the array elements so in this way we can insert an element into the array at beginning position